I read a lot of books. Uh, I like books on self-development, uh, spirituality, developing in life, uh, moving forward, progressing. Um, I've read these since I was a little kid um, and they have supported me in my exploration of life um, and where I want to get to. Okay. And today I simply want to share three books with you that have meant something to me. I'm not telling you, you must read them. Um, I simply want to share them and potentially inspire you to get a copy and to read it for yourself. So I'll let you know what the book is, and then I will read a very short extract from the book. Um, and then move on to the next. So the first book is um, this book. It's called The Untethered Soul. Um, and it's by a guy called Michael A. Singer. Um, so if you think about the title, it's The Untethered Soul. It's about ensuring that your soul is freed um, and allowed to run free, like I guess this horse is running free on the beach on the cover. Um, the subtitle is The Journey Beyond Yourself. So that already gives you a sense of what the book is about. So I'll just read this little section and it's about the energy that we all experience and feel within ourselves at times. Okay. You have a wellspring of beautiful energy inside of you. When you are open, you feel it. When you are closed, you don't. This flow of energy comes from the depth of your being. It's been called many names. In ancient Chinese medicine, it is called Qi. In yoga, it is called Shakti. In the West, it is called spirit. Call it anything you want. All the great spiritual traditions talk about your spiritual energy. They just give it different names. That spiritual energy is what you're experiencing when love rushes up into your heart. That is what you're experiencing when you're enthused by something and all this high energy comes up inside of you. He goes on further to say, when you close, the energy stops flowing. When you open, all the energy rushes up inside of you. True spiritual teachings are about this energy and how to open to it. The second book that I want to share is this. Um, it's by a guy called Neville Goddard, who I've mentioned on my channel a few times. Um, I've expressed some of quotes of his. Um, if you're not very religious, you might struggle a little bit with what he talks about. It uses a lot of Christian terminology, um, but I think a lot of Christians would probably argue that he's not a Christian. He doesn't take the Bible as literal. Um, it's for him. It's a psychological expression um, of the internal drama of life. Um, I'm sure he would express that uh, more eloquently than, than I just have. Uh, but that, in summary, is what he suggests. Um, and this book is called Your Inner Conversations Are Creating Your World. It's actually a collection um, of lectures um, that Neville gave in the 50s, 60s, 70s in the last century. Um, and he was certainly a very inspirational teacher, um, a modern mystic, a Christian mystic, some might say as well. Um, so anyway, let me just read a little bit from what he says to see if that resonates with you and it inspires you to read more um, or not, as the case may be. So Neville says the following, the creator of the world works in the depth of your soul, underlying all of your faculties. 
including perception, and streams into your surface mind, least disguised in the form of creative fancy. Watch your thoughts, and you will catch him in the act of creating, for he is your very self. Every moment of time, you are imagining what you are conscious of, and if you do not forget what you are imagining, and it comes to pass, you have found the creative cause of the world. So that's from a lecture called Imagining Creates um, that Neville gave on the 3rd of June, 1968, assuming that the date here is written in American format. So yeah, the 3rd of June. 1968, or I guess Americans would say June 3rd, 1968. So yeah, so your inner conversations are creating your world. Final book that I want to share with you today is this, um, which is the Tao Te Ching um, by Lao Tzu. Um, it's quite an ancient text. Um, it's, the Tao Te Ching actually is translated as the Book of the Way. Um, and it contains 81 short poems or stanzas about life and about this concept of the way. Um, and these are inspirational short sayings or thoughts that bring you an understanding of the way of life. So there's a lot of depth in each one um, and you have to sit with it and allow it to resonate with you so that it settles in um, and brings the inspiration uh, that you can gain from it. I like in particular number 67 because uh, it's kind of re self-referential to the teachings in general. But it gives a depth of meaning to them and a simplicity to them as well. So let me read it to you. Some say that my teaching is nonsense. Others call it lofty but impractical. But to those who have looked inside themselves, this nonsense makes perfect sense. And to those who put it into practice, this loftiness has roots that go deep. I have just three things to teach. Simplicity, patience, compassion. These three are your greatest treasures. Simple in actions and in thoughts, you return to the source of being. Patient with both friends and enemies, you accord with the way things are. Compassionate toward yourself, you reconcile all beings in the world. So yeah, pick up a copy, read the 81 stanzas, let them sink in for you. Um, learn about yourself in the process and understand more deeply the way of life. So I hope that you've enjoyed um, getting a glimpse into what I read and what I enjoy. Um, I hope maybe one of the books has inspired you to pick it up um, and to learn from the wisdom within it. Thanks a lot for watching today. I, I really hope that wherever you are in the world that you have a fantastic day um, and I'll speak to you soon.